Hey there! We're going to talk really briefly about plant cells and mitosis. So we just finished mitosis in animal cells and now we'll look at plant cells. So plant cells also undergo mitosis. This occurs in tissue known as meristematic tissue. So you can find meristematic tissue in root tips, um, in shoot tips of stems, and um, it also occurs in um, laterally for girth of trees. So you're going to have mitosis occurring in plant cells, but only in tissue known as meristematic tissue. Mitosis in plant cells has the same phases, so we're still going to go through prophase. I'm just going to put the letter prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, okay? And one major difference, so there's a couple differences, but one major difference is that plant cells don't have centrioles. So remember, centrioles produce those spindle fibers, but plant cells do have centro centrosomes. And so a centrosome is what contains our centrioles. So the centrosomes in plant cells still produce the spindle fibers. In animal cells, the centrosomes contain our spindle fibers, and the spindle fibers produce the, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. In animal cells, the centrosomes contain our centrioles, and the centrioles produce our spindle fibers. In plant cells, the centrosomes themselves produce the spindle fibers. Okay? And so we're still going through those same phases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. In prophase, the nuclear envelope is still breaking down. Chromosomes are condensing, and spindle fibers are starting to show, okay, or form from the centrosomes. In metaphase, the chromosomes line up at a metaphysial plate. Spindle fibers are still attaching and puppeting those chromosomes around. In anaphase, the chromosomes are splitting, so sister chromatids of each of the chromosomes split so that we have one half of the chromosomes on one side and then one half on the other side. And then in telophase, new nuclear envelope wraps around the chromosomes and we have cytokinesis occur, but in this case, cytokinesis differs um, so that's a second difference in plant mitosis. Cytokinesis in, an, in animal cells um, causes a cleavage furrow in the cytoplasm, and we split two cells from that one cell. In plant cells, we have a we have a cell wall. That cell wall can't a cleavage furrow can't form, so instead we form a cell plate that eventually becomes a cell wall. So in animal cells, like I said, a cleavage furrow is going to form between your daughter cells, or between the nuclei of the daughter cell. Um, this is formed by a contractile protein ring, and that protein that forms um, this cleavage furrow is called actin. So actin myofilaments cause the cleavage furrow and it'll get tighter and tighter until we produce two identical daughter cells. So here you can see that cleavage furrow and you can see it up here as well. And then down here you see the cells almost completely separated um, eventually that will separate completely and you'll have one daughter cell over here and one daughter cell over here. And they will be identical to that original parent cell. Okay. In plant cells, a new cell wall forms. And so that cell wall, and hold on, there we go. And that cell wall 
forms from proteins that are produced by the Golgi or produced and distributed by the Golgi form these tiny little um, structures known as phragmoplasts. These are going to eventually form a cell plate and then the cell wall will form. Okay, so basically you have um, for cytokinesis in plant cells, we're building a cell wall using proteins inside of the cell. So they're going to form this cell plate, which um, is formed from these little phragmoplast proteins. And then um, from that cell plate, more proteins come and build up a new cell wall, okay? So two major differences between plant and animal mitosis. Plant have no centrioles and plants form a cell wall during cytokinesis. Whereas animals have centrioles and animals go through cytokinesis and produce two identical daughter cells when the actin myofilament um, produces that cleavage furrow that keeps pressing in on the cell until two cells form. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to stop here. This is a little bit shorter than the last video. And we'll get into meiosis in our next video. Bye.